Secret Service, also known as Secret Service, Ultimate Sacrifice is a first-person shooter video game, developed by Cauldron HQ and published by Activision Value for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360. It is set in Washington, D.C. on Inauguration Day, where the player assumes the role of an elite agent named Pierce, whose task is to eliminate enemies to prevent them from attacking the Capitol. The game uses the Cloakant in-game engine. The game was released in North America on November 4, 2008, the 4th of November 2008, and was released in Europe on March 13, 2009, the 13th of March 2009. Topic: <laughs> Plot. On the day of the presidential inauguration Secret Service agent Pierce, a member of current President Simon's personal detail, receives a phone call from an unknown caller who goes by the name, Semper, Latin for, always, or, ever. He warns that the president is in danger and that someone at the top has compromised the Secret Service warning that, tyrants are everywhere. Shortly thereafter, dozens of hostiles, although dressed like civilians, are all armed with AKs and speak Spanish, attack the Lincoln Memorial where President Simon is shot. After taking down several RPGs, President Simon is extracted to Walter Reed Medical Center. Then reports of bombs planted in the Capitol building with over 100 civilians trapped in the crossfire. Agent Pierce enters while another agent, Doyle, provides updates on situation. After Pierce disarms bombs the bomb squad is killed when they enter the building. He rescues a group of senators and questions the Speaker of the House about the Vice President-elect, and learns that the President-elect and Vice President-elect were political enemies. Doyle then updates that the bombs were a setup for CVX bombs that would decimate DC and they originated from the fictional island of Costa Centava, a military dictatorship led by a man named Vargas, who had used CVX gas before on his people during a revolt and also announced it was no longer in production. Doyle tells they had an inside man to not only get the gas in the country, but in the capital as well. The soon-to-be U.S. Vice President is also leading the U.S. delegation at the South American summit being held in D.C. Doyle and Pierce discuss about how they need to get to the White House to expose what's happening. Semper interjects implying the top-level people he's going to talk to, could be the same top-level people who could be behind the attacks. Agent Pierce enters a network of tunnels that lead to the White House fighting the terrorists and the tunnel's automated defenses. En route to the White House Pierce is told to stand down orders of Special Agent in Charge Kaufman, the man in charge of the Secret Service detail, but later on while still in the tunnels, Pierce learns that President Simon died from his wounds. Doyle tells that him that the President-elect detail has gone quiet as well. After preventing an explosion in the tunnels, Pierce enters Secret Service-held territory. Pierce must fight, non-lethally, through Secret Service agents ordered to stop him because he has been classified as a rogue agent. Gameplay The gameplay is very similar to Die Hard, Vendetta, the James Bond games, and Soldier of Fortune, Payback. The game contains puzzle elements, where players must defuse bombs and unlock doors. It also uses the same reloading animations from Soldier of Fortune, Payback and 007, Agent Under Fire. For instance, the Uzi in this game has the same reload animation as the Ingalls Type 20 that appeared in the latter game. Weapons are given pseudonyms as well, for instance, the AK-103 is called the KMF-03, and the Uzi is the only firearm with its actual name. Reception Secret Service has received generally negative reviews. It has an aggregate score of 49.50% on GameRankings for the Xbox 360 version based on four reviews. IGN reviewer Charles Onyet awarded the Microsoft Windows and Xbox 360 version a 4.5 rating, praising some of the game's artificial intelligence for having a bit of challenge. However, Oinet pointed out the game's single-player campaign for being too short and not featuring a multiplayer mode. See also United States Secret Service <laughs>